Hi, YouTube. Welcome to the vlog. Today, we're giving a big shout out to Peter Webster. Because he is a really, really awesome dude. He don't have very many subscribers. But that's where you guys come in. Go uh, check him out. Subscribe to his channel. He's into the same things we all love and do. Tonight, we're going to feed some turtles. We are going to pack up some mature male tarantulas right here on the table. Some awesome and very fast and potentially uh, scary, hairy, big, dangerous looking things. So if you're not into that kind of action and adventure, better stop watching now because uh, these tarantulas are the things that nightmares are made out of. <laughs> if you're an arachnophobe or someone like me it's the thing what dreams are made out of so let's see if we can see any turtles in here if you want a roach that's a rusty red yeah he's trying to get it he ain't very good at it but he's working on it Trying to let some people get in here real quick before we, uh... Hey, House of Invertebrates, and hello, DBL Exotics. DBL, what's up, bro? House of Hello, my sister. All right. I got her seeing, liking, uh, seeing these turtles tear up some stuff. Like I said, we're fixing to be transferring some tarantulas. Oh, I'm straight. I need the coconut substrate, but I don't have the other stuff. I am out of paper towels, unfortunately, people. That never happens to me. I'm kidding. It happens from time to time, but I'm out of paper towels, so we're using coconut substrate this time. My lovely assistant is getting it for me. Who loves turtles? If you love a turtle, give a big thumbs up. If you think this turtle is totally badass, give it a share. Because he is awesome. <laughs> Not a very good hunter together, but he's awesome. Yeah, excuse me. I didn't want that in here. All of those, isn't it? I guess. Why? I have no... Oh, my baby's mama back here, people. DBL says, turtle so awesome. Spider Woman says, love your turtles. Yeah, me too. Um, Gotta get some coconut substrate set up over here. Oh. Making a mess. All over myself. All right, uh, we're going to... Why don't you tell them the story behind the small ones? Yeah, these small two turtles here are red ear slider turtles. I'm not even sure if they're even allowed to be kept here in Alabama. But somebody had them. And um, to keep them from not being released into the wild, the, te the principal of the school decided that she was going to give them to a kid. And it just happened that nobody wanted them except Mikey. He throws his arm up in there and says, I want them for my daddy. <laughs> so she's like, okay. You can with these two little red ear sliders with the biggest grin on his face I've ever seen in my life. He was overly joyed and proud that he had got something that was so awesome. Me, myself, at his age, I would have been greedy and wanted them to myself, or I would have at least wanted to keep one of them, but he was like, I know you love turtles, daddy, so here's you some turtles. Well, if you don't want them, he said, no, I'll, uh, I'll watch you clean their cages and feed them and change their water and love them, and I'll watch them. I'm like, wow, that is really smart. He gets the best of both worlds. I do all the work, and he gets to enjoy the... <laughs> Hello, awesome turtle. There's that. Um, we're going to 
get some tarantula containers set up. I do not have paper towels, so I and Sarah are just going to. Can you hold this up for me so I can have some help? I can't. Yep. I don't have no paper towels, so I'm packing up tarantulas and coconut substrate, which will be fine, absolutely fine, because we're not going to flip them over or anything on the trip. There's one here. I need a kind of a dryer substrate for the other one. Do we have any dry left or not? Hmm. Um. No. Gotta have dry for that other one. Hold on, people. Y'all watching turtles for a minute? Hello, awesome. Right. Oh, and shit. totally um, understandable, I think it is. Sorry, it's all my black. Undateable. You said that. Where, where are we looking at? Totally un like nobody would want to go on a date with them. Oh boy. Explain yourself. How are you totally undateable? Everything is dateable. Everyone. <laughs> and you see how lucky I am and I got the biggest catch in the sea. <laughs> I'm a realist. All right. Time to be done with the turtle stuff for a second. And then, hello, Transylla. Where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? I have nothing to dry my hand with. We got to work with all this stuff. All right, people. I will be there at the same time as. Who is going to be? Who is going to be where? I don't know. Let me see. I can't see. Oh my god, this piece of shit. I swear. I can't see nothing. People, the technology I got really sucks. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read the comments and stuff. And I can't see it for some reason. Okay. I'll be there at the same time as the as the what? Awesome Prince. To be where? Like you. Oh, you're going to Tinley. Look me up. Talking about Tinley, look me up. I've got to get this thing set up somehow so it'll sit here. I'm fixing to have some awesome tarantulas here. Hold this. I need some help, baby. Somehow, some way, I can get this thing where I can hold this up. Here. People are going to be able to see. I can't. I got a new camera on the way, people. Again, I need some help. We're in a bad situation right now because I can't. I can't block this computer up with nothing. Some reason you're gonna sit there and hold it like that the whole time. I'm fixing to have badass strength to run up your arm and biting your nipple off, and then what will everyone say? Ow. What was happening? Ow. About the young word, people. <laughs> I'm fixing to cut this thing. <laughs> I guess Sarah don't want to train until I take her nipple off. All right, I need something to hold this up with, for real. Y'all don't forget, this video is about Peter Webster. I got a hole in my armpit now. <laughs> Came here to upload my next video. So you on it, forgot why I came on YouTube. I'm sorry to sidetrack you, but you might want to stick around for this. I started out with turtles and then... Sorry about got her nipple laid off by a tarantula, and I got a hole in my armpit because of it. I'm saying that. <laughs> Here, take these turtles, and I'm block it with these other turtles. I've got a new camera on the way. I'm gonna block this right here. Don't slide down. Why? I want to slide down so much. This is not working. Here, bring that over here, man. That turtle pin back. I need extra weight. No, I'm not freaking kidding you. Sliding so. I'm sorry that I have the crappiest setup to film for you guys. All right. 
You can only see all the stuff I was blocking this with. Hopefully the tarantula won't run into the turtle container and get eaten by the turtle because it's the only way I can hold the thing up. All right, we're going to start with the king baboon. Uh, right there's the catch-up form. Um, well, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this. All right, king baboon, people. Here is... I do not like the way this is set up. I can't see anything and they can't see anything. It's the mature male king baboon tarantula. That I'm going to try to put in this container. And he's as big as this container. That should be fun. Please help me a little bit. Here. My arm's sore, so I'm having issues. All right, King Baboon friends, look in there. Well, this is a very rare sight indeed. Spider Woman says she's stuck with a sticking around. A mature male King Baboon tarantula. I can't wait till I get my camera and tripod and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to try to get this King Baboon in this cup with no trouble, but there might be trouble. I don't know. Don't know the right way, the wrong way to do this, but we're going to try. We're going to try. What I'd like to do is get him on this, and then put him on that. Let me see if I can do that. He might or he might not. We'll see what he does. Sure, Mel King Baboon, everyone. Check it out. Is he bad to the bone or what? Absolute B E A U D. Now we're going to transfer him successfully, hopefully, into this. Awesome. Because Edward Tyndall is so freaking awesome. You'll never see a transfer with a King Baboon just this way. And live. <laughs> Check it out. All right, now I need my marker. Did you ever give me the marker? That big big marker so I can write on each one what each one I is. Of course, I'm going to know what that one is, but we still need that marker. Can you find me one? We got a lot of transfers to make. I'm going to be transferring and transferring. Right for right now on that paper and stick it on top. I'll go get it. Then I'll come back to you. Y'all going to have to wait on me while I go get the marker. Give me one second. All right. Just so there's no confusion with all the mills I'm bringing. M M. Or milking baboon. Awesome. Don't you have uh, tap to pick them up in? Yeah, I do, but I'm trying to make things less stressful than that. Give me a little closer. Okay, here's another mature male. This one's a good one here, people. This is the mature male. I mira. Look what a mature male I mira looks like. This is the blue foot baboon. Whoops. The spelling. Mature male Imira. I need more of these containers too because I've got the after I he wins this. This thing. All right, people, here is a mature male eye mirror. I don't want to lose this guy. There's so much crap over here that he can get into and get away. We cannot let that happen. He needs to go in here. All right, can you give me them other containers? Those other ones. Okay, hold on a minute. M, M, I. M, I. 
Jermel Imira. These are the custom glass container. I was hoping this was a female, but it did not turn out that way. Now he's a wandering male. Very, very fast. I could lose this spider and I would be screwed. Spider Woman says that she's got a one that you just did before. The King Baboon? Yeah, and then. Does she have a female? She has what, a female or what? I've been looking oh, for a female. No. She's got a link. And then Tarantula. Um, Watch what I'm doing in case I lose this damn thing so I can find it. Come on. You have that catch up right there. Whoops, now he's pissed. How did you piss and he's losing them? Okay, get in there. Get in there, little mirror. All right. Bye, uh, mirror, everyone. Successful transfer. Here, hold this, hold this. Got it, got it. Wait, stop. I want to show everybody. You all can see how beautiful this guy is. Stop. 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 Oh, if y'all can see the blue. The mature male chimera. I swear this is getting aggravating. Can you clean everything out, out of my way that's going to fall or get the sweater caught in real quick? Please, and I appreciate it so much. We're going to need to tape this down. There is two successful transfers. This guy's going off to get bread. I don't expect to see babies from us, from all of these. Here, we put these over there for me. Also, when you give me the other cups. Let's put them in that cabinet. All right, that Imira is successfully transferred. His container is clean and nice and has... Um, spring tails and stuff in there, so. Hold on a minute, this is weird here. Let's see what this is here. Well, I always thought that was an egg sack. It's impossible for a mature male, but <laughs> look at that. That's what that looks like. All right. Um, I am here. Now we've got a couple more to do, including a T Stormy. That's going to be fun. Got a T Stormy to pack up. Can't find nobody locally. Really? Where is it? What? The uh, other spider. What was the spider? I was thinking. He says, I'm not 100% sure that it is a male. It's taking forever to mold for some reason. Hello, Bob C C H S. Okay. Here is the Hepatra Namakuensis. A tank makes Hepatra Namakuensis. Um, you're, we do a little bit of everything. We do animals, we do our life. You I never that, know what you're going to see on our channel. I don't want to throw it pose. Your channel, what do you do on it? Oh, yes, we got everything. A little bit of everything. I called it Edward Tindall YouTube because it's about Edward Tindall and the things in his life. I mean, <laughs> and it's pretty interesting sometimes. Some of it's offbeat or off the wall or whatever, but most of the time it's uh, pretty interesting. Now, this is going to be the Apatronamic Uwenzis. I think this is a mature male. I'm not sure how big they actually get. Hey, Bob's real M. I know it is a male, though. Real MS. 
His grandfather is doing great. Tarantula. Okay. Yeah, Bang. he's uh, he's uh, hanging in there, best of game, I guess. For an old man, I was over at a place earlier today, and I seen a 95 year old. I was I was getting my truck fixed. I seen a 95 year old man jump off of a diving board to entice his little uh, grandson to do it, which that, that could have been a hell of a tragedy, actually. It wasn't a pretty dive at all, but very impressive for a 95-year-old man. <laughs> it's more of a belly, belly and head flop, but what an awesome human being to be that way for his grandson. Priceless. All right, I'm going to ask y'all what you think about this guy, if he is mature male or what you think he is. Is it patronymic? You this? This is a birthday gift to me, actually, from Pelt Friction Tarantulas. What are you doing? Where are you acting like that? Get. He's balled up in a little ball. All right. Get in there. Okay. This is what this looks like. No, can't really. Patronymic you win. He's an inspiration. Your grandpa. Thank you, Spider Woman. I appreciate that. Yeah, he's inspired me to do all kinds of things all my life. That's for sure. What do y'all think about this? A patronymic you win this. A mature male. A patronymic you win this. A mature male. I don't see no bulbous pedipalps. You can't really tell a mirror either. I don't think this one is mature, but I know it's a male and it's going to be mature, so it's probably safe to say that it's a male that needs to go and be bred. You know, I think it's one molt away. What do y'all think? What do you think, Spider Woman? Sam. Who? Who is watching? Sam. I don't see Sam. Um, this is Bug Realms. Realms. Yeah. Bell Sam. I mean, I know it's a male. I know it's a male. It's not mature, though. But I don't know how big they get in Amic this, but I have an opportunity to take this guy where he will have a potential girlfriend and make a whole bunch of Amic this. So, yes, no, maybe. You're one more know. molt, maybe two. All right. Well, I'm taking it because that'll save me a fifty dollar, fifty dollar bill trying to ship. Bring a box of riches or something like this. Let's see. All right. That is a success. Of the hepatronemic, you win this. Most of the time, I don't have no hard time transferring anything. What a hell of a name. A patronymic Uensis. Okay. What else we got? Oh yeah, we got the king. Uh, I don't know the king. Where did the king? We got the king of tarantulas. I should say. Where's the his container at? Up there with all the scissors. Well, that's what he came in. Yeah, that's what he came in. Well, I'm using that for this. I put him in something else. I've got to get this. Oh, we have another one too, don't we? What else do we have? I might wait the day before I go. I just got this. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. That spider is absolutely humongous. Here. 
got a urticating hair on my tongue. Last time I showed, it did have a mole. I think that was. So, well, the last one you were showing. Um, oh, yeah, we have. I don't know if there's any breeding left on it, but the mature male P. fasciata. Check that out. Absolute monster. Oh, yeah, speaking of that, I just brought the female back up here. She will be having babies. Take her. We put her in. Uh, Cool down period at 68 degrees for three weeks. And now she's had a day to acclimate to room temperature, which is about, I don't know, 79 or whatever. And then we put her in here, which is 78. I put it to 78, and I'm going to raise that temperature to 83. And then she'll be having a sack for us. We also have Saratogrius. Our Ling guy over here going to make a sack, hopefully triple clutch. And we have the Costa Rican zebra, me, the Fona Pelma Simani, also bred, waiting on a sack. So I will have all them babies. And we have B Vegans as well, a hundred of them. As y'all can see, or so still. And a few curly hairs, but they're getting bigger and more beautiful. All right, so all of that. So we got a mature male fasciata, we have a mature male, and we can win a mature male. Night, Sam. It's 8, 17 p.m. here. Yeah, where, where is all the spiders at? Okay, we got a mature male Imera, mature male king baboon, mature male Imera, mature male Namakuendas, um, and mature male P. fasciata. Now, one, two, three, four. And we need the zebra need we will be pulling. There's something else we have that's well I got this one, but I was gonna bring this for John. Is he still gonna do that or not? Yeah, he's still gonna Okay, well he's I'm still gonna Huh? He's waiting for, for it to have his form rub. Right, let me see. Has it? Uh let's see this. Where's the right you still got him? Yeah, I still got him. Yeah, Here is the mature male. We got all kinds of mature males. I got some other mature males. If anybody on here has a female mature male, Pampabedia says P. Goliath. Here is the whoops, overly fed roaches. I do not see another sperm whale, but he's eating. So as long as he's eating, he's good. He's already bred twice. Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm blowed on him. You don't like being blowed on. Do not blow on your teeth, people. But uh, that's a beautiful boy right there. So I bred him, and I'm going to breed him to John's tarantula. That would be a 50-50 deal. And then I'll have this one. Possibly both of them will double clutch, and when they do, Talking about all kinds of stuff. It's good remaculata. We have a male aviculara purpurea, but it's not quite mature yet, unfortunately. Okay. That's the only that's the only hint I'll be giving y'all about things that we're picking up from the show. We're gonna be looking for a female aviculara purpurea. That's the male. He'll be mature in another well, like three months, I guess. Yeah, my anniversary. Yeah, Sarah's anniversary. <laughs> It's uh, she loves Beauty and the Beast, so that was the theme of this. I was trying to create, I was trying to create the rose that loses the petals, the magical rose, and I thought Abicular would be the best to do it because the. So this is the this is the Beauty and the Beast theme thing anyway. And trying to tell us, Shani, do you pull the sack or leave it with the mom? I was told. At 20 something days, I don't know exactly how long to pull the sack from the P. fasciata on the, um, on the, my cousin had um, have sacks and they ate the sack, every one of them. He suggests that I pull the sack the second or third day. If I can, and I'll have to manually roll it myself, which I've never done before, but I'm going to try to. 
Um, got to shoot you guys at 2 a.m. here. Best of luck. Peace and love, brothers, or whoever you are. That's Sam. Sam. Sam, I am. Green eggs and ham. <laughs> oh, my. They had the summer of Sam, too. That was a, whew, out there. Um, but on the, all right. Yeah. So on that one, I'm on other tarantulas. I don't pull the sack like the, uh, I'll show y'all one that I got to have a sack right now. Or no, I don't have a sack right now. Oh, shit. This process, hopefully. This is the Neo Hotel NC Gold. Female is right here. Hello, yeah, she's right here. Corner. She's right. I don't even know if y'all can see that or not. Yeah, there she is. Um, she's right there. She's bred, and she's going to be having. So I will have Neo Hotel NC Gold again. You got in a communal. Sometimes they don't. Um, so far, put ten. I put eleven in here. I don't know if they're still eleven in here or not. But you see there's webbing all, all the way around here. And I can count about eight of them. So check that one out webbing right there. Hold on a minute. That's a Neo Hotel Yancy Gold. They're, they're just they're constantly webbing, webbing, webbing. I love this species. Can they see that? I love this species. A little rough, okay. And then I'm going to be looking for a male for this. Well, everybody, uh, I don't read all of her girl, and she was complaining that everybody wants to run around now purple and her. But she has more success rearing tarantulas than most people in the hobby, she claims. And uh, if that's the case, I would keep on doing things exactly like she does. So if she has success with it, I'm sure I can. And if I don't pull them, I might have no success, and that'll be unacceptable um, because I'll be letting everybody down. I'm not the only one that loves these tarantulas. I know a lot of you guys do, and you would love to have some in your collection. Um, some of them, I don't know many, many people that have some of those species that I have. So it would be good if I can make them all hatch. I'm going to show y'all this one. Give me a second. I'm trying to find some roaches here. I like being selective. I like being selective of the roaches that I get because I want them really fat bodies, really juicy and healthy. Like that. This one's fat on pumpkin. And this one's fed on squash. Pumpkin is a squash, but yeah, squash and pumpkin. I like giving my roaches a variety because my tarantulas have a variety. I get a tweezer. Over there. I'm gonna need you to hold the same for a while. Hey. Let me see, Spider Woman. Apparently, you have to be a, little, uh, a breeder here said to leave the sack with my guy, okay, Chris, and my head. And guys, doing good. He's young. Online income, submit. Easy online income. How do you make money? Easy online income. Uh, Star uh, Trader or something. Look at that. Get it up here where we can see. Put my hand down here. All right, this is. I go. This is a. Hanuma Phyllis or Watch it. Isolatheria. Hanuma Phyllis. That way, you're messing the whole thing. You gotta come this way with the whole computer. That way. Any right Mavilla Samika people? Okay, let it go. And I let it go. Oh no. It's not hungry. That is also unacceptable. You're on live YouTube. Don't be this way. You know what the score is. Take this. Take it. Take it. I'm hungry. I see. What did you do with it? I don't know. Um, that's the Hannah Magilla Samika. 
Right here. Hand in my belly. Not hungry, obviously, because she's full. So you let her mold, but I'm leaving that at rich in there. Oh, you got it. Good. So yeah, that's the one. Just put him back in there. All right, so Reggie's got your bro. Um, here is the Obicularia. Oh, Obicularia. Obicularia communal. And we have six in here to start with. And I see one, two, three, four. I only see four, but they're in there. Okay, five. One's in the flower over there. They're probably more than likely all still there. And then I have another communal that I would like to find some more of is the M. Belfori. They got a heck of a setup in here. I like that. I like it a lot. And they like it more importantly. So I got the. He stir me, which I'm probably going to get another container to carry him in. Um, let me see. What male train source do we have we're taking? Because I have more mature males. Um, here's one mature male that I wanted to. I want to breed this, but it's, I think it's too late. To say after eight months, it's too late. But you guys can look at him. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just, it's just gonna die a fruitless death because he has no girlfriend. It's a shame to have to live his whole life and not have a girlfriend. But after he matures, toenails are about to fall off. This is the Pampabedius SP Goliath. I purchased two of these from Paul Becker when Paul Becker was in business. Uh, Pet Center USA. Which he's gone now forever, I guess. And they both ended up being milk. So I have this one, which is a mature male. And then I have an immature male. So if anybody has a Pampabedius SP, Goliath, I would still be willing to send that one to get bred. If he's able to, I don't know if he is or not. But then I got the backup. Did I feed Rutabaga to my crickets? I don't know. I don't see why not. I hate crickets, though. You know, you should really get into... These are awesome. I don't know if they're legal where you're at or not. Here. Get that over there. They're legal where you are or not. Some places they're not legal, but they're nice. You always have a constant supply of them. I have mine set up here like this. They can't climb... I got a little bit of uh, uh, vermiculite in the bottom, as best as free. Then on these cards, I just got I got unlimited roaches, all that I want, non-stop supply, constant, constant, constant. I feed them pumpkin, potatoes, um, carrots. I like feeding them pumpkin though because they eat the hell out of it, and it's good for everything. So, yeah, Florida. I know because people let them go and they've got loose or something. I don't know. And so are dubias. Yeah, dubias and rusty red are illegal in Florida. Each state to state is different laws here, and they're so screwed up. You got to really be in the know on top of it um, to know. Like me, I can't bring my cobras here because they're still illegal. I've been trying to get permits for them, but. They won't allow it, so I have to keep my cobras with a friend in Louisiana. Millworms, I breed myself. Nice. That's good. Um, but yeah, it goes all the way down to insects that are illegal. And they got some insects that are highly illegal. They'll put you in prison over a, a can't, a phasmid. I think they call it a phasmid. Something. Some kind of phasmid because they it's a weird looking bug, kind of like a prey mantis. It's got a weird tail that goes upside down and around with spikes and stuff because they can completely destroy crops like 
unbelievably and like 10 million babies and each one of them will have 10 million to be all over the whole world. It should have been legalized fire ants back in the day. Yay, hey, my two <laughs> testers are on. Or you I have to be up. Okay, so I one I was breeding mealworms and superworms, but they got mites. I don't even know how. The mealworms and superworms, let me tell you about that. They will get mites from time to time, and they're harmless. I about had a damn fit the first time I seen it. The problem is, is when that happens, you just take the tray of them. If you put them an oatmeal substrate or whatever, take that tray outside and let it be in the sun for a little bit, and every one of them will dry out and die. All of the mites. It is, it's a grain mite, right? That's what it is, a grain mite? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a grain mite. If you have the container there, it'll look like it's snowing. I hate them things, but uh, they're harmless to the animal and harmless to harmless to every, everybody, actually. They'll make you itch if they get on you, just flying on you just comfortably, but they're harmless, and they can be killed just like that. Me and Sarah threw, th threw away 5,000 of them, burned them because <laughs> I didn't know what the hell it was, and then I just found out you could take it out in the sun for a little while, so we... uh. That really cost us right there, losing all them. We have a rest for venomous snakes and spiders and any. Hold on a minute. And any other dangerous animals. A tarantula is not a dangerous animal. I mean, they're medically insignificant. I don't know why you'd have to do that. Venomous snakes. Venomous snakes, I've been handling them since I was three years old, free handling them. Thank for that. Uh, mites can come in the grains. Yeah, uh, I you can go to Walmart and buy oatmeal or rice or whatever, and you'll have you'll have weevils or uh, there's hardly any grocery store you can go in and not get some kind of a live bug that you're taking home with you. So just you got to look at it like extra protein. Flower, the flower's got what are them little beetles? It's got it's a little beetle and it's got a long nose on it. We buy them in flour all the time. We freeze them all. Oh yeah, freezing them will do it. Yep. We we will hate them things. But I guess they all eat the same. <laughs> That's not a pepper in your biscuit. <laughs> I use wheat bran. Yeah, wheat bran. That'll work. The reason I found out about them is raises them by the millions and he's really good at it. And uh, he just told me he put it out in the sun, and it works. You got the flower mites. So, yeah. <laughs> After we burn five some worms, um, I'll be looking for of this too. Or wait a minute, who did you say we were breeding this with? OBT. Uh, Tennessee, Tennessee tarantula has a male of this already. Actually, I'm gonna be breeding with him. Um. We have a Formictopus erratus female and a Formictopus sincerities. We will need males for. I would like to pick up a Nephonopelma chalcotes. This is Sarah's first tarantula. It's going to be a male. My snake babe back there in the back. <laughs> Here is Sarah's uh, first tarantula. Funny. It was funny. It was funny when she first got this tarantula because she. I don't know how exactly it happened. I think it, it, can't, it, it crawled and she just had her hand out and it touched her hand. We'll move it over here where y'all can see. These are really sweet tarantulas, by the way. Look at that. Look how nice it is. I love them. Down. But it just crawled on, crawled on her hand. And I was like, well, that one's yours right there. That's your first tarantula. Said, that is not my tarantula. And I catch her all the time. I'm coming here and feeding it and checking it out, making sure it's okay. She'd be checking it out and feeding it and studying it. And she's like, wow, I really like that and everything. Now she comes and feeds hundreds of them and enjoys it and loves it. Every moment of it. Once you can understand a tarantula, you will be hooked. They're absolutely amazing animals. And anybody that don't have them in their life that wants some excitement, it's, uh, it's a good time to get one now because you ain't going to live forever. Those of you that do live forever, you should do it anyway, just because that's experience. Speaking to all the immortals out there. Sweet tea. Yes. 
That is a sweet tea. Speaking of sweet tea, my Subway cup. I'm supposed to advertise for Subway and get free subs for life. Happy Gilmore did it. Okay. Oh, no. Kenneth Raw, subscribe to my channel. Wow, so many. I was going that one now over. Yeah, I was gonna get one now over eighty. Hey, don't stop there. Seriously. What? This tail. Ah! <laughs> that tail point went We're right in her freaking ear. That's what that's what karma is. Almost instantly served from her jabbing me in my armpit when I was warming her, warning her that a tarantula will take over her nipple. Stop. Right now, please get close to me. I'm getting a deadly weapon. That thing away. Get back. Get back. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. What else did we have to pat down? The sugar gliders. Yep. Sugar gliders will go the day. After, you see, we got Macalas. I got mushrooms coming in here though too. Look at this. The mushroom growing. The mushroom growing in this container. I don't know if it's a danger to the tarantulas or not. Well, give me your thoughts on that. He's watching. He's watching. Scar is watching. And I'm not getting scar out. Uh, Scar will come out in the spring. Maybe we'll do another swimming video with him or something. Um, check this out. Here are the Pampa Bees FB. Check out those mushrooms. That was a deal. Um, mushrooms. Subscribe to my channel and I'll come back. Oh, promise back. What does promise back mean? Subway. I'm trying to feed these things for people. Here. Oh, I have nowhere to put my computer. Give me a second, people. Okay, first. Okay, first. Is he for stripping making any more videos or not? He is getting ready to go to Finland. Yeah, well, I hope he's going to make some videos when uh, when we're there. Y'all be sure to subscribe. This channel looks like that right there. I want to talk about me poking your one nipple, and you're showing your other nipple off. Well, look, people, look. Look what's going on here. See, what's heaven for the tarantula? Hell for the roaches. There's a fine line between war and peace. Heaven and hell. Love and hate. <laughs> Look at that mouthful. Now to a rook. Demon God. And to us, it's just the most angelic thing. It's good and bad and everything and everyone. Here goes another Pampa BDSSP McCullough. This is the, the reason I'm showing these off. These are the ones that I got last time I was in Tinley. I just fill up and fill up. Pampos can eat, my friends. I love Pampos. I love some Pampos. I don't know if I'll be getting Pampos this time or not. Depends on if they got a sol Solaris, I think they call it. Like find me a Solaris for under 100 bucks. That's one got tarantula there. I can only find them for 500. Oh, yes. That's another one. We're looking for a female. A Vicularia. Very got a. Because oh, yeah. I hear that they're they're very gotta. Where I don't think they are dangerous to tarantulas as they grow in the wild around trees and tarantula Where habitats. Do you think you're going? Yeah, and I've ate a hell of a lot of them in my life. And I'm still you're not getting into trouble. Thank you for that. Um, the mushroom coming from Spider Woman. Here's another Papabedius SP Makala. 
Check it out, people. This is why I love the ranch work, just because of this right here. It's times like these, we learn to live again. Yes, it's times like these, we learn to love again. Tampa Media says, P. McCullough, friends. McCulloughs don't play. I'm a roach herder, a professional one. You missed yeah. it. I didn't miss it. Bam! Huh? What, did I miss it? No. Oh, bam. Yeah. Rob C. <laughs> Rob C. Spider Woman said, bam. <laughs> bam. You got to love the McCullough one. I'll be having these available too if I ever have any success breeding them. Y'all wish me luck. And as I have promised in the past, every single sack that I have that I am successful with, I will be giving away some of the tarantulas for my fans, as well as selling them. But I will be giving them away as well because I love this hobby and I love to get other people into it. Me and Sarah gave away 30 or 40 B vegans and about 15 curly hairs, I think. Yep, check that one out. I guess it's not hungry at all. Maybe it's some pre. Oh. Yep, that one's a no go. I had to pull some of them roots out there. I accidentally put too many in there. I'll do that off cam in a little while. I need to bore y'all with that. Here goes another Pampa BDSSP by Kala. It might be a pre mold. Hopefully, I'm going to drop one roach in here. Or two, three, four. Get in there. And that one is also in pre molds. All right, so it's not going to attack. Well, I'll have issues here with this thing, too. Right, that's why my colors, people. Well, I got you right here if you want to see some tarantulas eat. I do got to feed a couple of them. Now we'll be doing some dubias. Some dubs. Dubs. I said dubs. A dub, a dub, a dub. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. If I'm going crazy, I'm going crazy too. Well, all right. Bam. I wish. Tarantula Shane wishes what? You know, all y'all that are asking to be sub to, y'all sub to me if you haven't. Alan, Sling H, sub me, and Psych 22 are me. Whoa! Bam, indeed. Did y'all see that, bam? That was some super bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Let's see if we can do another one. That I can get a sling from you. Who can get a sling from me? What kind of sling does she want? I don't know. Look at this. Look at how he's holding it down. He's holding it down. And this is a, a boy. Look at this. Look at the guts. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh, hot damn. This is my jam. Are you comfortable? What do y'all think, people? Look at all that red. That, in case you were wondering what it was, was a Nandu Colorado Velosis Mel. <laughs> the hell out of mine. I can't. I'm in Canada. If I can find a way to send you a tarantula in Canada, I will find a way. Who is? Oh. Oh. Yep. He, lo he loves uh, resting to the side. The hell is this? Oh, this is the LP. This is the LP. It must be in pre mold. Let's see. Whoa, did you get back in there? What are you doing? Get back in there. You know better than that. You don't want to fall out and hurt yourself. He is not wanting to eat that. I'm going to take it out of there. This is the LP, another one of my favorite lights. He's in the wrong spot, though. He's supposed to be with the Nandu. 
Colorado Velocis. Here's the other Nandu Colorado Velocis. This one we'll eat. I'm pretty sure because even when they're in free malt, they eat. I don't think this one's in free malt there. Y'all ready? Watch, people. Watch. This one don't play. He's been known. Whoa. I'm not going to pin out of my hand. What's wrong with you? Check it out, people. What about now, the punk so brother? All right, I'm going to drop it over here. This Rach is not cooperating at all. There we go. It don't matter if he cooperates or not. He's getting got. This one is too. Yep. Check out all that fiery red and legs and stuff. Mando, Colorado, Relicious number two. And check it out. If you look at the carapace, I don't know if this camera is giving it justice, but you can see long hairs on the carapace on either side, kind of like a dual mohawk. And then it's got all that cute little fuzzy wuzzy above the eyeballs. I love it. I love it. Yes. Nandu, Colorado, Velocis number one and two, both males. I don't know how much bigger they got to get. I could take one of them to Kenley with me on hopes of a future 50 50 with someone. <laughs> but I don't know how big they got to be. I hate waiting until they're mature, they're getting big. I might have two or three malts. I've never had one before until these. So, I don't know. Nandu's get pretty big, I guess. Um, what is this? Trini says, I had a juvenile female. You got a juvenile what? Female? Yeah, she won't be big enough. By the time these are. They're growing like a weed. Okay. Then we have... Spider Woman says she has two slings. Then we have this is my bear bear right here. Unfortunately, this is a boy, which I hate because I wanted to keep one of these as a pet. Which I'm keeping this one as a pet until he's not a pet no more. But he is molted now. This is the Acanthoscuria geniculata. Kind of resembles the um, Namek you win this a little bit. Think about it. We're going to drop a reach in here for him. See if he's hungry. Cheney says, Cheney says, I'm at 65. 65? I thought she had 80. That was better than me. Oh, okay. 80 and 65. That's unacceptable. She needs at least 65 more. Bam! Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo! Did y'all see that, people? Is that totally badass? I'm going to can't cool. I have over 80 keys altogether. Look how red that is. What is not to love about that awesomeness? This little mold right here. Whoa, check that out. Y'all see all that urticating hair? Quit urticating on me. You keep your urticating stuff to yourself. Yuck. You're not <laughs> doing it, sweetheart. I'm just kidding, people. Uh, I love this. In the morning. J H T V said, sub me 100. You're not doing it. All right, the one sub to. Let me see. Hey, do you like the tarantulas? Let's see. Get a bigger place. Won't be for some time. Plus 14 false widows and a tube. Tube spider. Are you talking about the Sydney funnel web? That's a badass one. Really bad one. There's one funnel. It's a, I think it's a funnel web. One that I want. Megatheloides is the last name. I can't think of the first name, but it's a Megatheloides. I would love to have one of those. They're so freaking bad. It's a true spider. Hello, H-E-S-S-Spider. No, I thought it was ropes. What? No, for me, it's Marty. All right, what else do we have? We got for Taz. For Mectopus Canceritas. <laughs> it's called uh, Tube Spider. I've never heard of it before. 
I apologize for that. I feel so dumb that there's a spider out there that I don't know of. And they're just about I got horrible. bit by a false on my ass. <clears throat> that hurt. On her ass, Gina. Allison. On her what? Where did it say that at? I got bit by a false wheel on my ass, Zena. What part of the ass is the Zena? I bet it did hurt, though, anyway. Yes, it do hurt, but only bite is squashed. Yeah, true. I've let them crawl all over me, black widows and all of them. I got a video, video of it somewhere. Oh shit, I'm missing anything. <laughs> Here it is, D. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna try to put you up. Tell me which part of the ass the Xena is, too, because you know asses very well. I have never heard of the Xena. I will he find was, it. She was talking to uh, Spider Woman. Oh, Xena? Yeah. Xena is Spider Woman's name? Yeah. Xena. No freaking way. You are a spider woman and a warrior princess. You just become so much more epic. It's not even funny. I bet you carry all my people too, huh? <laughs> uh, warrior princess. That is something else. All right. Okay. I'm going to put you up. I'm Xena. Yes. Warrior princess. I got it. I'm getting with the program. All right, here we go. Now, I'm telling you right now, I'm getting ready to put you up. Let's this is the Formictopus Kins. Oh, shit. You're going to get hurt. <laughs> this is the Formictopus Kinsurgis. About one in my face because it got scurred. It got scurred. It got scurred. <laughs> yeah, look at that. See how it's got a little cowlick on the, on the rear end right there? So beautiful or what? Yes, I will check out and try to sub you guys when. Uh, okay. Can you back in page? My channel subscriber subscribers. Okay, Bengala New Pro. I will show your comment. Just give me an option if I want to show show it or not. Make sure you sub me. Sub 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 sub. Allison Cuthbert, no. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, all right. All right, that was the Cancerities. Hey, I want to show you all something else before I go. Um, I'm going to be breeding these soon. These are very important to me. And even though they were so badass, I still... I have a successful stack of these. I'll be giving a few away to my fans, my friends, and my loved ones. Yes, I'm talking to you all. This is absolutely disgusting. Can you give me some new water things? Look at this. You can come in here, too. But this is a very clean tarantula. This is a green bottle blue. No boxes. Absolutely beautiful, but they always put all their trash, crap, whatever in the cup. So, here, baby. So, I'll change their cup out and give them new water and new food. If he wants it. Green bottle blue. I love the green bottle blue. They're absolutely clean. I need the water. I don't have no water. Right there it is. Right there. You're pissing on one of the things for me. Sorry, people. We're getting some water. Let's see if I can get a race aid for you guys. While I'm waiting. And that's a no go. It's not hungry. I guess it's in free malt. Which is fine. It's fine. I understand. I've been in free malt myself. Really? You can't. There you go. Third, yeah, for 36 years now, been in pre molt. How oh, way do you see me when I bust out of my shell? <laughs> That's gonna be a day to marvel. All right, here, baby. Here goes a beautiful Sanio Cubenzins male. 
And here is the female. Is the lovely better half. Give me a second. Can't wait till I get my iPod thing going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, baby. Hang on. Whoa. She gets upset when everything goes they were her. Pick her out. Hope you guys can see this beautiful, 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 beautiful. All I can say about her, she's beautiful. What's not to like? Blue legs, green carapace, red abdomen, so hairy, lovely and beautiful. Um, I'm going to drop her a feeder roach if she wants it. I don't know if she will or not. But we'll see. I hate it. That's the only bad thing about a dude. Look at this dude. Dude, 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 y'all. They act dead all the time. They fall down and they act like they're dead. And that becomes a problem for the tarantulas. See that? But I love their beautiful webbing. I love everything about this species. A lot of people don't have good luck with these. I see on a lot of other videos because they die all the time. The reason they die all the time is because of people put them in a moist that will kill them. This is a desert species. They need to be on dry substrate with a water bowl. And she's fixing to bust it wide open. By the wide open. But what? Hey. Bust it wide open, baby. Whoa. Oh. There is some pineapple on Sarah's lap makes her happy. Whoa. What's the deal? Come on now. You see how smooth this uh, tubia is? Can y'all see what I'm doing? Can they see? Can they see? Baby, can they see the sweater in action or what? Yeah. She's got one toe on it. There she goes. There she goes. It's moving. She knows something's in there. She's just biting her time for some reason. I don't know why. Or she's in pre molds. If she's in pre mold, then she'll come out of mold and then she'll eat it. All right, I guess I'm going to move along. She's taking too long. Definitely a sign of pre mold. Actually, since she's in the free mold, I'm going to take it out because he's digging around. I don't want him to upset her any more than she has, he has to. Okay, that works out of there. Now she can go back to being her awesome self and doing what she has to do, her sweetheart. I am going to check on my. I'm going to check on my other one, the babies. Do them babies. The uh, ultra. Say hello to my little friend. Please, sir. Good night. That was a good letter. Feel better soon. Oh, Allison's left. left. Gorgeous. Yeah, it is. Um, I gotta run. I will catch. I will watch rest later. Good night. Good night to you, Tarantula Shani. Thanks for watching and tuning in, and everything. We love having you here. Um, Spider Woman. Mine keeps buffering. Grr. I'm sorry. It's a crappy uh, internet. My son's playing the hell out of Fortnite, so that's uh, taking from it a little bit. Check out that eyeball right there. Let me get him back. Hold on, I'm trying to show this eyeball. This is pineapple. He is what four years old now? Yeah. Four years old now. Little baby boy. He's a super hypo tangerine carrot tail super giant. A mouthful. But he is. All right, my friends, my fans, my most loved ones. Now it's time to be amazed. I'm gonna show y'all something that's really care. As in really care. This is the one and the only, so it doesn't move, Grandma Stola Poultra. 
how big they're getting. Unbelievable. Now, people told me that they take 10 years to become a mature male. My first one that I got as a gift because Jeepers Creepers Tarantulas, a good friend of mine, wanted to go to Tinley Park and he wasn't able to, so he was going to buy him something. He was going to buy a Grandma Stella Poultra. That was the only thing he wanted to get. So, in return, when my Neo Hotel ANC Golds had babies, I traded for 10 of these and I was able to give him two. That was awesome. Y'all can check out that video on there. Um, with Edward Dendel, no good. He goes unrewarded. I will see you in the morning, darling. Yeah, well, you got to go. It's getting late, sweetie. All right. You got school in the morning. All righty, people. Here we go. Move this up. This is Grandma Stella Poultra. I'll try to get it where you see why they grow. I don't restrict the flow of food to my tarantulas at all. If they're hungry, they're going to get fed. I will damage a roach and put it in there for them. And that one's not wanting it right now, but I'm going to leave it in that state right there. And then in the morning, I will check it. If it's eating it, I will let it eat it. If it's not eating it, I will not. That one's just molt molted not too long for you guys. And then... That'll be the end of it. I'm going to show you all these Jeep Ultras, though, because I really absolutely love and adore these. I want roaches damaged. Like so. Yes. On a baby like that, the roach needs to be damaged somewhat. I need to put a little bit of moisture in there. Not much, but just a tad, just a tad. Just a little bit. I love my Jeep Ultras. Can't wait to raise these up. And y'all can see when I got them. And y'all can see how fast they grow because I will, I power feed them. A lot of people say don't power feed. I do because that's what they do in the wild. They're going to eat until they're full. Just the way it is. They will eat and eat and eat. It's not going to damage the tarantula. The only thing, if you ever see a tarantula eat something and it leaves an uneaten portion, which I know somebody's seen before, that's because they're full. They're only going to eat until they're full. They're not going to eat until they're over full. It's not going to happen. But if you want to grow tarantulas fast, you keep them at 80 degrees. You feed the hell out of them. They will grow fast. I promise you. I grow tarantulas fast. <laughs> Did y'all see that hit? Bam! I love it. This is why my little G poultras are turning into be. I'll wait till I got displays up. Display cases up with uh, nothing but a G poultra wall. And none of these are for sale. These are all my personal pets just because I'm very greedy with these but you breed these i will also give away g poultras as well as sell some all right Good or not, or if he's hungry or not, but if he is, he will get it. Like us tomorrow, the ones that don't eat, and I damage the roach so bad that it cannot damage my spider. This one not eating it means because he came out of pre molt or something, or he came out of a molt.
not too long ago. It's been a little while since they've ate, so it's time for them to eat. Here goes another one. This is another Jeep Ultra. I have eight of these total. And they're absolutely amazing. I love them all. Every one of them. I cannot have enough Jeep Ultras in my life. Boom. That one took that one right up, right off the bat. I don't know if y'all got to see that or not. You should see it. Bought it to the bloody end, he did. The roach couldn't see because he got dirt in the eye. So that's Grandma Stola Paltrow. Number six. We got two more G Paltrows coming, my friends. And y'all can watch them grow like L right here on my channel. This one's getting pretty big too. It's down here in the bottom. It's molted. Every time I come look at them, they've molted again. Which is every, well, not that fast, but I've taken on them every couple of days. But I feed them three or four times and then they, they molt. Sometimes I feed them a big thing like this and then they molt. I don't know if you're going to see that one or not. I'm going to leave him right there. We'll get it. Got some a few curly hairs to feed. This one's also molted. Molts everywhere, people. You gotta love a molt day. Um, I'm gonna damage these little riches to the point where they can't damage my spider. You leave it in there, and if they're not completely hardened up, they will harden up, and they will eat that. I don't want anything to suffer, but unfortunately, the roaches have no choice but to suffer because it's just the way it is. Now we're doing bee vegans. Bee vegans can take on a full-grown roach without no suffering needed. So that's what y'all are going to witness here. In our comments before I go, no roach wants to go underneath. Go underneath there, or we don't get to see it. That's no fun. These are brachycoms. One variety. This is a true strain, or so I'm told. So he is not hungry, or maybe he is hungry. I don't know. Hope I got it where y'all can see. He's in there somewhere or other. Bear with me a second. Got a few of these left. All right. Just kind of trying to run from it a little bit and give him a little shot of agua. Get that lid back on there. Going with another Bialbo Polosum. Oh, they should be hungry. Or not. It's not but they will. Sometimes they bust it wide open right when I first put it in there. Another one. Accidentally hurt that roach. No, I know that one's not going to eat. It's in serious pre Y'all see what this tarantula looks like. I hope it's right, right there. It's got a really big abdomen, really swell up in another day or two. It will molt. Here goes another one. And then the last one, and then we got a burst of color, and then we're going to call it friends. Beautiful, beautiful little bee vegans. So, we'll put all these back. We'll do the varsity color. And I've also got another one. It's crazy. I don't know what's up with this. This is an Afona Palma Moderatum. It's an Afona Palma Moderatum. I can see that little thing. It's very small. It's 
right here, the tip of my finger, very small, and it has shed in my care 17 times, 17 times, and it's still only that big around, that little bitty square. It's unbelievable. I can't believe it. What the hell shed 17 times and don't grow? I guess it's going to have a massive growth spurt at some time or another. Really aggravating that it's taking that long. I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you how how old that one is. I got that one the same time that I got that H Nama Cuensis. The exact same time I got the Imira, which is already mature. The same time that I got my Poisletheria Hano Mavilla Sumica, which is that long now. I don't understand it. It was just one really gr slow growing species. Here, let me keep up with my thought. It's my end. It might be, I don't know, mine too. Hi, pineapple. Cool. I crush heads on all prey. That's awesome. Thumbs up to you, Spidey woman. I need to do that with some of mine and get them growing quicker. Yes. Yep. You heard you mentioned that before. Yeah. You experiment. Take a, take a test group of 10 slings here and 10 slings here. Feed these slings. Uh, food item every two weeks. Feed these in this tree three days and watch what happens. <laughs> Starting off with little fruit flies or little pinhead crickets, pinhead roaches, termites, whatever you can get your hands on. They're little. Okay. My last is the Versi color. We got to change this one actually. Whoops. <laughs> Look at that little blue. Freaking precious. Whoa, whoa. Didn't plan on that to happen. This is a little worse. Would be cool if it would. Don't know. Nope, that's a no-go. Oh, I didn't plan for it to come out, but y'all get to see it anyway. Back in your enclosure, little buddy. Little bursty color. I love these guys. Sometimes they eat off my hand. And they gotta sit there for 30 minutes while I wait. This one has a big one in there. That's why it's not hungry. We'll put this one in there, too. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Back in your container. Get back in your container, you little thing. I love Mercy Colors. They're so cool. Get it on a familiar surface. It's own home, so I can run back on my hand. <laughs> uh, I love these little things. Whoa, they're very fast. Growing like a weed. It's acting like this because it's time for another... Another enclosure. That is such a metallic blue. Y'all can't really see. Get in there, little guy. There you go. There you go. Oh, it, it's all upset. It had to go back in its enclosure. No. And that is all she wrote, my friends. Whoa. See you later. Cute. Yes, it is cute. I tried to handle my pink toe, but it just keeps jumping. Yeah, mine jump too all the time. All right, Spider Woman. I am going to go check out some of your stuff. I wish you all peace, love, and happiness. Subscribe to your friends. Share my videos. Watch my older videos while you wait for new videos. And most of all, people, be yourself. Cool. And don't forget to sub to the title of this video and I appreciate that good man cheers Edward Tyndall and all these wonderful Tyndalls out thanks for watching
still buffering. 